You've seen me use OneNote on my desktop. You've seen me use OneNote on my iPad. Today, I want to show you what it looks like on my cell phone. So stay with me. Well, hi, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. Today, I want to talk to you about using your OneNote planner on your phone. I want to give you a close-up glimpse of what it looks like, how the links work, uh, all of that good stuff. So, if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already. Remember, subscriptions are free and turn those notification bells all the way on. And the way this video is going to work today is I'm giving you a little intro here. I'm going to show you uh, how I can open up uh, all of my notebooks on my phone if I would like, because remember, I sync to the cloud. So I have a OneDrive account where I can create things on my desktop and then I can sync them up to the cloud. I can then retrieve them and bring them down to my phone or to my tablet uh, wherever I need them to be and you know it's seamless and I just absolutely love that. So I want to show you a little bit today about how that looks. I also want to show you uh, what my daily planner page looks like on my phone. Uh, you know if you've seen me create my Franklin planner page, um, if not I'll leave a video linked up above so you can go and check that out. But you can see how functional it is even on my phone. I'll show you my inbox and how some of my custom tags work. I'll show you external links. I'll show you all kinds of stuff today. So uh, stay with me and I'll be back in just a few minutes face to face with you uh, to wrap things up. All right, well, here we are on my Android phone and you see that I have my OneNote uh, screen right here at the top, my OneNote icon. So I'm gonna touch on that and that's gonna open up the app for me. And when the app opens, it will come up to all of my most recent um, pages that I've used, but I can also get to all of my notebooks here. And you see a list of all of the notebooks that I have currently open, and they are all synced up. There's no little reminders there telling me that they need to sync up. They're all syncing as I open them, okay? And to get them to sync on the, on the uh, phone, all you do is pull down and you get that little swirly um, circle that goes around there and everything syncs up. You can see that happening there. So if I go into 2025 Life Planner, uh, we are now at the end of January. And uh, so let's click on January. And we will go to a page that I use a lot, which is my inbox. You can see here in my inbox, I'm gonna uh, make it a little bit bigger for you. You can see here in my inbox that I have all of my customized tags that I use. If you'd like to learn more about customized tags, I do have a video on that. I'll leave it in the description below. But one thing that I wanted to show you is one of the reasons that I love these customized tags is because I can create checklists for myself. So for example, right here under to buy, I needed to buy more bird seed because the snow we've been having, the birds have been very hungry and it's been very cold. So once I pick up the bird seed, all I need to do is touch that and now that is taken care of, okay? So anything that is an open checkbox, that means it has not been completed yet. Anything that has a check in it means that it has been completed, okay? Now, Another thing that I can do is I can add tasks here. So you see one of the things that I have is a holiday task. If I go to the end of holiday task and I hit enter, that will give me a new holiday task text box um, or tag there. And I can say, uh, you know, whatever my next thing is. So I need to update my card list with uh, cards that I received, okay? Um, and I'm just going to put REC there for received. Okay. So what I do is I uh, have a card list that I keep with everybody's address and I put, 
if I've sent them a card and I also put if I've received a card. If you'd like to know more about the cards that I use or the card list that I created, again, there's a video for that. I will leave it linked in the description box for you. Okay. So now I have a new task for myself there uh, that is to update my Christmas card list. All right. Okay. So let's scroll back out. You can see this is, you know, my regular notebook that I use. It has all of my tabs across the top uh, and it has all of the tabs going down the side for the days of the month. I also have here um, in notes right here, you see that there are notes to things that I have checked off. So uh, I found a beautiful table runner that I wanted uh, to check out and I found it and I put a link in here. So if I click on that link, uh, it will come up with this little dialog box. And the first one is an arrow that says to go, go to that page. The second one here is to edit that link. The third one would be to remove that link. You can also cut, you can copy, you can paste, and you can select all. But I want to show you that these links are functional on my phone. So I'm going to say go to that link. And you'll see that it goes out to uh, Google Chrome and comes right up to the link for the Winter Joy Project, which I thought was really pretty. They did it as a table runner, so it was just three of these squares. And I thought that was beautiful. Okay. So those links work great. And then I can go by hitting the back button right back into OneNote, right back to the page that I was at before. I think that's absolutely fabulous. Okay. Now all of these links here work as well. So let's say I want to go down here to uh, the 31st. And I can highlight that link and I can say go to that page and you'll see that OneNote takes me right to my um, January 31st page right here in my Crystal Life Planner. Okay. Now, when I'm on that page, one of the things that uh, I like to do when I'm creating uh, my pages is I do a lot of table work. So this is the Franklin Planner daily page. Um, that you can see here that I created. And again, I'll leave a link to that in the description box, but I can zoom in on my phone and look at basically, you know, one fourth of the planner page at a time. So here I could put, um, you know, recurring or tasks, prioritize tasks here. The 31st happens to be a Friday. I know that that means that I need to release my video because my videos come out every Friday morning at nine o'clock. So I can do that. I can add that as a priority thing to do. Okay. And also if I scroll over to the next section here where I have my calendar and my schedule, uh, my video will come out at nine o'clock. So I will go ahead and put that in there. I do my weekly review on Friday, uh, usually in the afternoon. And if you'd like to see what one of my weekly reviews looks like, I have a video for that. I'll leave that linked in the description box. And then the 31st happens to be our family game night. Uh, and so that's exciting as well. Okay. So I'm going to add that in there just to show you how easy it is to add appointments. And then as I come over to the next section, I have daily notes and I know that one of the things that I have to do for game night, and I can abbreviate that game night, it is my family's turn to bring dessert and to choose the game. So I'm going to make a note there. Okay. For game night so that I have that available. Okay. So very easy for me to use. And then the last section over here is my weekly compass. Now this is, uh, I'm using a page that is for next week. So I haven't filled out my weekly compass for this particular page yet. Um, but if I, you know, were to put something in there like uh, social and emotional, that would be where I would have events. So one of the events of course would be game night. So I will go ahead and put that in. Okay. All right. And then what I also wanted to show you is, uh, not only do these daily, um, links work over here on the side, but my dark links across the top, 
uh, that go to other things work as well. So for example, I do have a link to my Google Calendar. So if I wanted to say, well, let me double check and see if there's anything else that got scheduled in my Google Calendar, I can go up here and highlight that and do my go button, go to that, and it will bring up Google Calendar for me uh, so that I can see if there are any other things that I need to be thinking about. So it's Google Calendar. Again, I can make it big so I can zoom in. I can go to the week that has the 31st and I can check to see what else. There's my weekly review. There's my game night and I am good to go. Okay. Now, if I hit that back button again on my phone, it takes me back through the weeks that I did and then it takes me back to my OneNote page. Okay. So I've checked and made sure that there's nothing else for that day. I think that's absolutely great. Okay. Now, another thing that I use a lot, uh, on this planner is I use my meal planner page. And so if I click to my meal planner page and we go out to that one, let's say I'm in the store and I, you know, have my grocery list here on my meal planning page. I can simply click on to my meal planning page like this. Everything that I have highlighted are things that I need to buy. Okay. So let's say I am in the store and I see apples is one of the first things on my list. I can go in here to my plus key and I can go to ink and choose my eraser. And what I do is once I have purchased the apples or put them in my cart, I will just take that eraser and I will go up there and erase that highlight. And that lets me know that I have purchased it. Okay. Now, if I want to highlight something else, you see, I have all of these highlighter colors. It doesn't really matter what color I'm using for my grocery list. Um, you know, but you can change colors if you want to, and then, you know, highlight things. You can use your pen and write, you know, notes for yourself if you want to as well. Okay. Let me show you if I go down here and I want to, um, pick up pickles, I can go ahead and write pickles with my finger there. And when I zoom back out, you see, that's not too bad. You can read that. So that works pretty great. I think it's very functional. I think it works great. Okay. I know that many of you have been very curious about how this works for me uh, on my iPad or on my phone. And I really think that it works, you know, fantastic. It is much better for me to carry around this notebook and to be able to look and see what tasks I need to do, what things I need to buy, who I need to talk to, what I need to do, all of that kind of thing. Keep notes for myself, all of that in one place rather than carrying around a big paper planner or a little notebook that I write lots of things in and then they get lost. So I hope this has been helpful for you today to see how it works on my screen. And you see, here's all the pages that I have for January so far. All right. Well, as you can see, the functionality on my phone is pretty extensive. I think, you know, I was able to go in and show you how to get to various notebooks, how to use the links that I've created on the side, how I can go from page to page, how I can enter things in my, um, you know, my daily planner page, all of those kinds of things. Um, and so I think it's really, really helpful and really useful uh, to be able to do this on my phone. That is one of the reasons that I use tables a lot in OneNote because, you know, having a nice long table shows up nicely on my screen um, of my phone and my iPad and that kind of thing. So I personally think it works great. I hope this gave you some inspiration to go ahead and try using OneNote as your life planner on your phone, on your tablet. Remember, it's easiest to create on your desktop or laptop and then use them on your phone or your iPad. But either way, I think it works great. And the modifications that they continue to make to the OneNote app on my Android phone are amazing to me. I can almost do just about anything I can do on my desktop. And that's saying a lot because I can do a lot in OneNote. Anyway, well, thanks for joining me today. I really hope you learned something. Don't forget to give me a like, leave me a comment or a question. If you have one, let me know. Have you tried to use OneNote on your phone? How did it work out for you? 
All right. Well, until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote just about everywhere I go. All right. Until next time. Okay. Bye.